chocolate cake. <laughs> Hi everyone. Welcome back to Back Publishing House. We hope that your week is going well so far and that you have mastered all of the words from our previous video about COVID-19. In case you haven't checked it out yet, we've put a link to that video as well as this video in the description, so make sure to check it out. This video is perfect for times like this when you're all stuck indoors because all of the words and phrases can be found inside your house, namely your kitchen and your dining room. Yes, today we are learning about eating and food related vocabulary. This video will have three parts. Part one, kitchenware and eating utensils. Part two, ways of cooking in English and basic food vocabulary. Part three, ways to describe taste in English. Before we start, we have to remind you that practice is key when trying to master any language. So make sure to practice everything you've learned from this video each and every time you walk into your kitchen, when you're cooking, and when you're eating meals. Now let's do this. This first part will be divided into two sections, kitchenware and eating utensils. The word kitchenware refers to all the items involved to cook and prepare food, such as a pot, pan, stove, oven, microwave, kettle, fridge, blender, knife, peeler, chopping board, scissors, basket, spices. A few other items you can find in the kitchen are bottles and a sink with a sponge or rag. Eating utensils are the tools you use to eat food, such as a knife, fork, spoon, plate, bowl, chopsticks, and although you don't use it to eat, a napkin is useful for cleaning your face and your hands. Moving on to the next part, we will learn about ways of cooking in English. And in this part, we will use a few of the words that we learned in the previous section. Now. Let's start with these example sentences. There are many ways to cook eggs. You can boil them in a pot on the stove, or you can fry them in a pan with oil. For perfectly poached eggs, the microwave is your friend. And how about meat? What are the most basic ways to cook a piece of meat? Apart from frying it, you can also grill meat. I personally love grilled steak and barbecue pork ribs. When it comes to white meat, many people find chicken to taste better when it's roasted. My wife always cooks me braised pork belly, and I swear I could eat five bowls of rice with it. When it comes to vegetables, the most common ways to cook them are boiling, stir-frying, and stewing. Add a piece of chocolate cake or some candy and you have the perfect dessert to end your meal with. From this example, we can take out a few essential words for different ways of cooking. Boil. Poach. Fry, grill, braise, stir-fry, stew.
stew and a few basic foods and food groups. Rice, rice, meat, meat, fish, vegetables, chocolate cake. Candy. Did you do egg? Oh. Egg. Now, just like you have done with all the previous lessons, read the paragraph again without looking up the words or looking at the subtitles. And like last time, you can put this paragraph to memory and practice it in front of the mirror to sound more confident and natural. So, how do you express the way food tastes? This is what we are learning in the last part of this video. Ways to describe how things taste in English. There are six primary tastes that people often describe. Your food or drinks can taste salty, sweet, sour, spicy, bitter, or savory. Now, to make it easier for you to memorize these words, we'll use them in a paragraph. So let's read this together. Fish sauce is salty. Lime is sour. Candy is sweet. Chili peppers are spicy. Coffee is bitter, pho is savory, and all of the food my wife cooks is delicious and tasty. In addition to this video, we also made a video in the past about food in English, which goes into more detail about the way food tastes. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find a link to that video in the upper right hand corner. Here. If you're watching this video on our Facebook page, make sure to check out our YouTube channel for more fun filled content. Okay, now let's try to say all of the words when the pictures pop up. That's it? This again? What else? I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. If you find this video helpful, click the like and subscribe buttons to support us. And for more videos, check out our Facebook page, Back Publishing House, and our YouTube channel, Back Publishing House, for more fun ways to learn practical English. Take care.